Well, hello. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. We're taking it outside today because it is unbelievably, amazingly beautiful. I'm so happy to be outside. It's perfect weather uh, for October. So I want to talk about my arrangement of Norwegian wood today and a couple of the features um, that I use in this. This is going to be coming out and an album I'm releasing soon. Um, but it's one I play at almost all my solo gigs. I find it to be one of like just the most beloved Beatles songs. Everybody always gets, just seems to know this one somehow. It's amazing. Uh, and I've always just thought it's a really interesting song. So um, I like it too because being in the home key of E gives an opportunity to use a lot of open strings. And so there's a lot of nice possibilities to keep two parts going, um, which is I think a nice thing if you're playing solo guitar to kind of give the listener a little bit more to, to ground onto and you can focus on different things and having that low E available is always really helpful. I like to do the initial statement of the melody in octaves. Um, I'll play it on second and fourth string. For that note, I'm voicing it on a B minor chord and then uh, uh, A and then do my E. So that's... One of my favorite tricks on a song like this where you have big stretches of E, if you just play an E chord and hang on, it's kind of boring. And so if you play more like a piano player, move through the chords of the key, you're going to get better effect here. So like we just kind of like look at that using the E chord. Or if you're familiar with the Allman Brothers song, Melissa, this E shape, move it up diatonically through the key of E. You get F sharp minor with all the drones, the G sharp minor with all the drones, A major, B major, C sharp, D sharp, right? Now you don't need all of those, but just having a couple of those really helps to create color. And there's other ways to do that as well, just knowing your inversions and triads diatonically in E. And so I like to play upon that technique um, to set sort of a groove between statements of the melody. So uh, after the intro, um, or up here triads against the open strings and they stretch there right melody I'm gonna play on the top like that six nine chord so those are all just inversions of, of E right E six nine da, da, da. standard A type E major seven you'd say B flat B six nine but I'm thinking it was an E six nine with B in the bass da, 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 da. first inversion A type E major using that B minor again, A triad, and so I'm playing that open A, the A, and then the C sharp there. Going back to that groove concept. So between all those chords, I'm not going to break down all this exactly, but I'm keeping that bass pedaling and it allows me to grab the combination of the chord or sometimes just a single note. And I'm just thinking of the melody here. I don't want the, I don't want it to be overburdened by like chord per chord per melody. Though that'd be a lovely way to reharmonize it. I'm considering that for future, but at least right now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play it in a more linear singing fashion. And so that's why I've made these choices. some different ideas. Okay, so the bridge is easy because it just goes to like that minor. So we just kind of like a parallel modulation. A lot of different ways to do it. Sometimes I'll keep the melody simple. Or, it's going to go to an A chord, which is really nice. I think that A is talking about breaking up the static for putting a G under the A or alternating between those two triads. Lovely way to kind of keep that part interesting. So first part of the bridge. Or uh, F sharp minor. Uh, where's my melody note? Sorry for the singing. Yeah. 
So let me just play that whole bridge and kind of get a sense of what I'm talking about. Um, So that's basically the head arrangement for uh, how I like to play Norwegian Wood. My name's Max Guys. If you liked it, please subscribe, check out my music. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.